What's up, my fellow nerds? It's your boy, Ty, and I'm back with another video. Uh, this will be my top 10 favorite superheroes. Uh, as you guys can tell, I love superheroes and several quotes. I got Justice League poster right here. I got Dragon Ball Z one right here, Marvel. Uh, there's, an, there's an Avengers one right there. Next to that is a, um, is a Batman one. I got the uh, Spider-Man right there, and I got Dragon Ball Z poster. Like, I love... So even though Dragon Ball Z is not, I mean, it's not really considered a superhero, you know, it's like an anime and shit, but I mean, of course, they kind of do superhero shit, but they save people, but I love that. But yeah, this is, <clears throat> is going to be my top 10 superheroes, but first, because this is my, I do my top 10, but um, my honorable mentions is uh, like <clears throat> Wolverine, love him. Cause like just because these are my honorable, just because just because they make my top ten on me, I don't like the characters. I really do like a bunch of characters, but Wolverine, Daredevil, Blade, uh, freaking, um, I think that's it. What Daredevil, Wolverine, Daredevil, Blade, uh, any form of Robin, doesn't matter. Wonder Woman, uh. I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Wonder Woman. Uh, one more. I got another one. Uh, uh, pop, 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 pop. I'll look on my list. Oh, the fucking, the Flash, Aquaman. Yeah. Uh, I had to look on my, on my thing. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> yeah, those are my honorable mentions, but right off my list, uh, we'll do my, my favorite. I mean, my, my, I don't know why. <clears throat> my number ten is a um, it's a it's it's a slash or so it's two because I couldn't pick I could pick just one for my number ten. Most of my other ones are just one, but for this one, I picked the Punisher. It's Punisher slash Green Lantern, but specifically John Stewart Green Lantern. That's my favorite version of Green Lantern. Uh, I guess I start with Green Lantern. <clears throat> I guess I start with, yeah. I guess I start with John Stewart. You know his. I'm not gonna. Some of these, you know, you're gonna know the origins. I don't have to say it, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know John Stewart. So John Stewart, uh, John Stewart was a, he was a U.S. Marine. That, he was from Detroit. He was selected as a backup. He was selected as a backup to um, because the um, because the previous the previous Green Lantern Guy Gardner got hurt, and yeah, I'm not gonna say too much about the whole origin because that would have been like a lot for me to write down and stuff. But yeah, basically that's what he was, and he, you know, he just got selected i think if i'm not mistaken like what like you know how stuff just randomly comes like like it like crashed down to the earth and he was like oh what is this oh some ben 10 type stuff similar to that almost uh his first appearance was green lantern uh green lantern number 87 and nine from 19 from 1971 to jane i mean december 1971 to january 1978 his powers are flight force field space travel um uh, you know you know anything that and then you know because he has the, the the ring so anything just like any other green lantern anything that he can uh he can create with his mind you know any or well, any weapon he can create with his mind the the um the um how much i say the um the plethora <laughs> which i'll use big words the plethora is endless so he can create anything with that ring so i mean he's pretty powerful uh I'm gonna say like my favorite versions of them and stuff too. Uh, my favorite version of John Stewart Green Lanterns. You know we haven't seen too much or much about him. He's more in the comics than like on media, like you know movies and stuff. Uh, my favorite version of him is in the Justice League cartoon. You know from the early 2000s to so that. I didn't grow up on. I had to go back and watch it, but I know I watched it a little bit, just a little bit, just because I knew it was in cartoon. Uh, I don't have no favorite movie because I mean of course nobody likes the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern, but since John Stewart has never been in a Green Lantern movie of his own. I don't, it yeah, just don't have a favorite for that one. Uh, then <clears throat> for Frank uh, for Frank Castle's origin, which you know is the Punisher. You know his family was killed. His him. Well, okay. First, first of all, I guess I'll, I'll start with the um, with his what's his name, his uh, his appearance first. His first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number. Number one twenty nine in February nineteen seventy four. He was a U.S. Marine and and Navy SEAL, and he and he decided to stop. You know, he'd been doing that for a, a good minute. He decided to stop and spend time with his family, with his wife, wife Maria, daughter Lisa, and son Frank Jr. And then one day they went on a well, one day they went on a picnic, 
in Central Park, you know, it's, you know, of course it's New York and stuff, because that's where he's from, he's from New York. Uh, in Central Park, and then, you know, why, why you know, his, he was just chilling with his family. Um, this um, this mafia was having a um, some type of, you know, deal going by, deal happening or something, it went wrong, they started shooting, and, you know, his family was caught in the crossfire, and of course, you know, that scarred him on some, kind of on some Batman type stuff. So, you know, that that, that um, made him become the Punisher. And, you know, even though I know he's not a superhero, I mean, well, technically he's not a hero because he's the anti-hero. Because, you know, well, Khan, you can kind of still say he's a hero. But he's not, he's not necessarily, like, of course, you know, he's not PG at all. He's going to bop, bop, but he's killing everybody. He's shooting heads off. He doesn't care who he's killing. But, I mean, for the most part, I mean, he saves people. Like, if you're a good person and you're being, like, uh, if you're, like, in danger and stuff, of course, he's going to save you. So, I doubt that he's not going to hurt shoot nobody like randomly so only he only you know you know i can't talk he only hurts the bad guys and stuff so i guess yeah, you still kind of say yeah he's a good guy and stuff uh <clears throat> his abilities you know he doesn't have no powers like batman he um he has a high pain tolerance he uh he's skilled in military military tactics of course i mean you know he was in the marines and stuff so of course he's gonna be good good at stuff like that he's a um you know, he's good at combat, of course. I mean, like I said, he's in the, he was in the military. Uh, he's a good marksman, you know, so he's good with the shooting. Uh, he's an expert expert investigator, probably not on Batman's level, because that's the great, the world's greatest detective. But yeah, that's you know, that's my number ten for those. Uh, onto my uh, what is that? Number ten onto my number should be number nine. Uh, my number nine favorite superhero is the homie, uh, the homie Red Hood. Red Hood's a very, very cool character. Very, very cool. I mean, just, I mean, just look at him, niggas, niggas. He's cool like that. My, uh, his first appearance was in, was in Batman <clears throat> number 357 in 1988. I have a 1983 because, of course, you know, uh, <clears throat> so most of y'all, y'all know the backstory. Y'all probably know Red Hood's too. But uh, so you know, Red Hood was a Robin. He was a he was a Robin. You know, with Batman, he was the what second second Robin, because after Dick Grayson, no second, yeah second. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, yeah, because yeah, Dick Grayson, uh, Jason Todd, then Tim Drake, yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, he was the second. Um, <clears throat> so you know, like once Dick Grayson wanted to become Nightwing and didn't want to be Robin no more, uh, Batman found this kid that was uh, you know, it was like. I forgot, I forgot the whole shits, but like, you know, Batman was doing something or something. The Batman boy was like on the street and the kid was trying to steal hubcaps off there. And then Batman saw him and was like, hey, kid, uh, what are you doing or whatever? And then, you know, he followed him back to his place and he finds out that, you know, his, uh, you know, he's like homeless and stuff. Like, well, yeah, he's, yeah basically like his home because his mom's on the drugs or something. She's like, so she's not taking care of him. And then I, I think his dad got killed or something. Don't, don't quote me that. I can't remember what happened. But he basically did. He's basically, basically he had no parents. He's like an orphan. You know, Batman's an orphan and stuff. So, you know, Batman takes him in and stuff, trains him as Robin and so and then he was very uh he was very like uh on it I mean on it he's very rebellious. He didn't want to do what Batman, you know, told him to do after a while and then, you know, he didn't want to stick to Batman. You know, Batman's a very he beat your ass but he's not gonna kill you and and um <clears throat> and um Jason was taking more brutal tactics and stuff and you know, Batman wasn't messing with that and stuff. And then I'm gonna speed it up course but i mean cause, you know most people know the origin too anyway of him but uh okay fast forward you know then he got killed by the joker and stuff he got killed by the joker and then you know because you know he got killed because i guess people didn't like jason Todd like that much in the 80s or whatever and they so they killed him off uh and they killed they killed um they killed jason Todd off then he was re he was um resurrected in the lazarus pit and you know he became ready and came right here because, because I mean, yeah, you came right. Well, okay, so you know, he got he got re um, resurrected, and then he didn't have all. I, I guess like some of his thoughts, I mean, his uh, his memories and stuff was able to come back. And then you know he you know he hated Batman anyway. And then, well, he hated Batman. He was rebellious to Batman, but then he really hated him because of course you know the Joker killed him. You know, he wasn't there to save him and stuff. Uh, and then yeah, you know, became the Red Hood, and you know he's an anti-hero, very similar to Punisher. Because, yeah, he's not necessarily, he's really, really brutal. 
brutal. He's not like Batman. He's really brutal. He, you know, he carries guns, probably shoots people and stuff. So he's not, he's not that nice. He's, I mean, he's kind of, kind of nice, you know, like the Punisher. He's going to save people that's in harm, but to them criminals, he's going to kill them by any means possible. He's not, he's not just breaking their arm with Batman. And then he's going to shoot you dead. Uh, yeah, that was his first appearance. Uh, you know, his, his powers, you know, similar to Batman, of course, you know, he was trained by Batman. He was, you know, he was a Robin. So of course, you know, he, anything Robin can do, I mean, anything Batman can do, he can do all of it. He has all those abilities, just like at a lesser version. Just, I mean, he can really, he's really good at him, but of course he's not as good as Batman. Uh, yeah. My favorite version of him <clears throat> is from the, um, Into the Red, what, Into the Red Hood, Into the Red Hood movie, the animated movie. That's a good movie. Uh, like that movie uh he doesn't have no movie of course so i can't say i have a favorite movie of his so yeah like that's for red hood what was that nine uh on to my number what nine eight we got the homie nightwing he first appeared in detective comics number third i think i think i put 38 number number 38 in 1940 of course you know his powers are similar to batman's of course uh, his origin, the brief summary of his origin. He was a part of the, he was in the circus, a part of the Flying Graysons. You know, he was, you know, he was an acrobat with his parents, though they, they used to perform and stuff. Then one day, uh, one day, you know, they was doing, like, they was performing like how they always do. His parents fell to their death. Mm. <clears throat> he was traumatized by that. Uh, of course, you know, like what Batman does, I mean, you know, what Bruce Wayne does, he adopted him as his son. Adopted his son, because of course, you know, he's similar to him. You know, his parents died. He, and then, you know, he trained to become Robin. And then, yeah, trained to become Robin. And then, and, and then, then in uh, 1940, he became Nightwing. You know, I, I messed with Nightwing. Nightwing was really, really, really cool. Just like Red Hood. Like, I just, I just think both of them are like, those are my two favorite, well, not my two favorite, but they're like some of my favorite DC characters. And then my, they my favorites out of the Bat family. Like, anybody in the Bat family besides Batman. I messes with them heavy. They're just cool characters. Uh, of course, you know, just like Red Hood, his powers are similar to Batman. Since, he, you know, he was raised by Batman. Got, he's a good detective and all that stuff. Uh, my favorite version of him is um, probably either probably either the one from Titans, which is, I mean, I like that show. I can't wait for that to come back. Probably from Titans or... Um, Either for from Titans or um, or from Young Justice, because uh, you know that's a good show too. Campbell Feather come back as well. Uh, so yeah, that's Nightwing. I, I'd be forgetting the numbers and stuff, but I, I'll make sure that I when I do it, I'll have it right on the thing. Uh, on to the next one we got, because you know I'm going up from ten instead of going from one. Uh, we got the Incredible Hulk. Um, you know, fire character. His first appearance was Hulk number one in May of 1962. Means the Hulk, his powers are superhuman strength, durability. He has an amazing healing factor. He can literally heal from like a molecule back to himself. There's been times that he's had his skin disintegrated off. He he regenerated it back like it's the Hulk. It's, it's, what can he do? Arguably the strongest character in comics, if you're not him or Superman. Uh, yeah. And he gets more powerful. He gets more more and more powerful. The anger he gets, so that makes it even more of a problem. My favorite version of him is probably, I mean, what? The, um, well, my favorite version, uh, my favorite version of him is the 08 one, of course. I love all the other ones. I love the, well, I mean, because you consider, you can say there's different versions because they all, they look kind of different as the movies went on. Like, you know, I like the one from the, I like all Mark, all of Mark Ruffalo's other versions of the Hulk and stuff. But yeah, just the Edward, Edward, Norton, uh, Edward Norton, the that 08 one, I just, I just love the Hulk. That's, that was, ah, I love the Hulk. But my first introdu introduction to the Hulk, my first introduction to the Hulk was, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, so the uh, like, like I've said on the channel before, I used to watch Spider-Man the Animated Series, and um, I used to watch ABC Family, and they would show the Hulk TV show, and I seen a little bit of that. Even I didn't know too much about it. I seen the Hulk TV show, 
with that like the cartoon because you know in the 90s they had a bunch of superhero uh, Marvel superhero cartoons. I was seeing a little bit of that cartoon, and when I was young, I went to uh, not Six Flags, I went to U Universal Studios, and you know they had the Hulk ride. I was like, oh, that character the Hulk. Okay, that's kind of how like oh, not even that the O three Hulk. Yeah, I literally had a I had a Hulk little like stuffed animal when I was a little kid because that movie came out when I was what three. So yeah, you know kids love the superheroes. Uh, yeah, I had a little Hulk toy. Uh, I think I had a Hulk. Uh, I had a Hulk. I had the um the what's the names the gloves and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just I like the Hulk. I like the Hulk. <clears throat> but yeah, my my favorite version of him is O Eight. Favorite movie is O Eight as well. Cause I mean he's only, he only have two Hulk movies really. So I mean, next <clears throat> next hero is is Black Panther. You know, Kong Forever. First introduced Fantastic Four in 1952. Oh, before I forget, because I so did forget, uh, I didn't say my favorite version of The Punisher. Uh, my favorite version of The Punisher is um, it's probably the one from 2008. Is it eight? No, 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 no. Yeah, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008 and 2004. I like both of those versions. Uh, I know, I know. Most people, most people are very, very uh, um, headstrong on the on the one on the one from the Netflix series. I've never seen the Netflix series, which is crazy because I love Marvel. But like for some, reason, I never watched the Netflix. I just never could get into them. Not Defenders, none of the Jessica Jones. I'd seen like a two episode of Luke Cage, and it was cool. But I don't know. I, sh I guess I should have stuck with it. But I don't know. But yeah, that that was my favorite version of him. I forgot, and my favorite movie as well. Uh, okay, on to Black Panther. Yeah, Fantastic Four. He first appeared in Fantastic Four number fifty two in July nineteen sixty, uh, not July nineteen sixty six. His powers are he got his durability, amazing. His amazing hand to hand to hand fighter, intelligence, speed, strength. Uh, of course, you know all this with his vibranium suit. Uh, he's the king. I mean, what else can you can you say about him? My favorite version of him, of course, you know, is Chadwick Boseman, R.I.P. to Chadwick Boseman. I mean, it's the only version of Black Panther we've seen so far in the movies, R.I.P. Uh, first, first introduced to him, I, well, I first saw him, but first even knew who he was, was Captain America Civil War. I didn't know who Black Panther was. I, I didn't know that was a character. I swear, I did not know that was a character. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so that's Black Panther. Um, next one is Thor. <coughs> you know, Thor, you know, King of Asgard. Of course, this is, you know, his pop passed away. Uh, his first appearance was uh, Journey into Mis uh, Journey into Mystery, number eighty three in nineteen sixty two. His powers are super strength, <laughs> speed, endurance, and vulnerability, uh, etc. You know, um. My favorite version of him is Chris Hemsworth's, of course. I mean, it's the only Thor we've got. Uh, my favorite Thor movie is Thor Ragnarok. First got introduced to him in nine, I mean, nineteen, in two thousand and eleven. You know, when he, with his first movie, that was the uh, first time I found out about the character. Uh, he's one of the strongest Marvel characters out there. Ah, not stronger than the Hulk, uh, of course, but he's one of the strongest out there. Uh, I mean, it's Thor, and it's not. He's he's very he's not very similar, but he has similar powers to Superman. So I mean, take with that what you must. You know that tells you how strong he is. Uh, <clears throat> next one is Iron Man. You know, genius playboy philanthropist. Uh, Iron Man first appeared in Tales of Suspense, nineteen thirty. Uh, Tales of Tales of Suspense number thirty nine in nineteen sixty three. His abilities is genius level intellect. Of course, we know this. Superhuman strength uh, from his suit, of course. Um, superhuman strength. He can shoot. He can shoot. Um, what's them called? His blast. I forgot what they're called. His blast. Uh, you know, his origin was. Uh, I mean, he was. You know, he was Tony Stark. I, mean, I know his origin. I, am, I really don't even have to go through it. He's Tony Stark. I mean, come on now. You know, got got killed. I got killed. Um, was in the cave. You know, built the built a suit to get out and stuff. I mean, pfft, not, not too much to say. Uh, I don't have 
uh, I was gonna say I have like a, I was gonna do, I was gonna do like I have my favorite comics from all of them, but I don't know all the comics, uh, all the comic names and stuff. I don't know. I, I haven't read or seen, or seen about all the uh, every all of my uh, top tens um, comics. So I wasn't gonna do that. I scrapped that part. But of course, my favorite version of, of Iron Man. Is, come on now, Robert Downey Jr. Come on now, one of the, one of the greatest portrayals of a super. I mean, superhero character. Like he just spot on. Like that's how Iron Man is. Like that's how Iron Man is. That that's how Iron Man is supposed to be. That's how he is in the comics. Like it's very true to the character. Uh, and my favorite version, of, yeah, is Robert Downey Jr. Favorite Iron, favorite movie of Iron Man is Iron Man 08, the original one. Remember when that movie came out? <laughs> Loved it. I literally started the MCU, bro. Like it's. Made me start liking. I'm glad that happened. I started to like other characters, and so I started to like Iron. Man. I was like, okay, this Iron Man character is cool because you know I was a kid. I used to watch anything that was super. I would watch, bro. I loved anything. Uh, next one is the Man of Steel, Mister Superman himself, Kal El, Clark Kent. You know, um, he first appeared in in Super in, uh, not Super. He first appeared in Action Comics number. What was it? Where did I put? I, I, well, I, I was supposed to have wrote, wrote down the the um the number of the thing. I think it's the Action Comics number one. I'm just gonna guess that. In 1938, his abilities. I mean, Superman. Come on, up. literally in the name, his super strength, super speed, durability, super senses. You know where he can like he can see, he can see fucking yards away. He uh. His hit, he has X-ray, his X-ray vision, of course, so he can see through things, etc. Uh, I got first introduced to Superman in the, part of the Justice League cartoon, even though I said, like I said, I didn't watch it a lot. But you know, my parents, you know, they just give you, you get toys and stuff. I think they had toys. I think they had like a little partnership. You no, know, stuff that's popular has like a partnership with McDonald's or Burger King. So I, I know how to Superman toy as a kid. Uh, I didn't know too much, too much about him. But yeah, it was the Justice League or and the um the two thousand six movie too. That's how I got introduced to Superman. Uh, my favorite Superman, my favorite, my favorite version of Superman is I mean is Henry Cavill's. Uh, he's a good superhero. I mean he's he's a good, very good Superman. He looks like Superman. Uh, the, my favorite Superman movie is Man of Steel in twenty thirteen. Uh, okay, on on down to the number two. We got, I mean, I've said it before on this channel, like literally, you guys should know my, for the, even the couple of sub subs that I have, I, you guys should know who my uh, number two is. I mean, for my, who, you guys should know who my top two is. Uh, you know, we got the homie, that homie Batman, you know, aka Bruce Wayne, uh, World's Great Detective. I mean, come on now. Uh, he first appeared in Detective Comics number 27 in may of 1939 i mean you know it's superman i mean superman i didn't have to say superman's uh, origin because i mean everybody knows it you know you, he came down from the earth and all that i mean sent down from earth from a dying planet last of his race unless you count his cousin or whatever uh last of his race you know went to kansas was in smallville of course you know all that uh but yeah <clears throat> Of course, you know, Batman's origin, who doesn't literally know him in Spider-Man. Uh, parents was killed in the alley. Um, you know, parents was killed in the alley. He, um, you know, then he became Batman, of course, you know. Batman, what does he do? Oh, you know, his abilities is his genius level intellect, because of course he has no powers. He's skilled, skilled in multiple forms of martial arts. He's a... Uh, you know, world's greatest detective. Uh, he's at peak peak physical condition. Yeah, he doesn't have like super strength or none, but like he's he's jacked. Like he's really he's really swole. He's like swoller and more fit than most of the average human. Um, favorite version. My favorite version. So favorite version of Batman is Ben Affleck. Hands down. Like come on, up. Ben Affleck fire. Like he looks like Batman. He literally looks like Batman. Like he. And man, that, that's Batman for me. That's ba Batman. But my favorite version of Bruce Wayne is Christian Bale by far. Coolest. He look. That's Bruce Wayne for me. He's the coolest Bruce Wayne. Coolest Bruce Wayne. Him. Him. Even Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne was pretty cool. Uh, 
and the other ones they they was they was cool, but the the Bruce Wayne's wasn't as good as those two in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that was my favorite version. It's my favorite version of that. Uh, my first introduction to Batman, you know, was probably well uh, put in the Justice League cartoon because I had a, I had a Batman toy as a kid. Uh, I remember it had like you got take them off and stuff. It was like one you know. You know the toys that all kids want the, the toy that can move around and all that stuff. He can bend his legs, so like a really good toy. And then I had, and he also go on the uh, on the bike and he had his sh and the shot stuff at the bike. I had that. I had like this other big bulky Batman toy. I had a, I had a couple Batman toys, you know, Batman. Even though I wasn't big, I didn't know really who. I didn't like him as much as like Spider Man. Like I kind of fell in love with the character more as I got older, because of course you know who didn't play the Arkham games and stuff. But at the um. I, as I started playing the Arkham games and more and more, as like, especially once Arkham Knight came out, so I was like, what, 15? Once that came out, that's how, that sparked my love for, for Batman even more. Like, I started to put him up there like, like how I have Spider-Man, like, that. yeah. And then my favorite Batman movie, of course, is, you know, Dark Knight in 2008. When that movie came out, I was stoked, loved Batman. That's part when I fell in love with the character, too. But I just fell in love more, more and more, like, like how I love Spider-Man. When I and after I played Dark Knight, but I did kind of fall in love with the character growing up with the Christopher Nolan movies too, because I mean, those are amazing movies too. Uh, and then on to the number one, which is I, I didn't already mention it a couple of times. I just mentioned it too. We got the homie Spider Man. Like, come on now, love him, love the character, love the character. I didn't mention it millions of times. Love the character, love it, love him. <laughs> Literally grew up with him. Literally, I'm gonna say it again. My dad, my dad played the two the um 2000 game on the PS. What you get it on PS2, I think, and PS1. Well, yeah, he put it on. Part I'm just gonna say PS1. The, you know the Spider Man 2000 that video game. Uh, I've gotten a chance to play. I like the game. It's a good game. It's a classic. Uh, but yeah, my dad played. I used to watch him play when I was real young. Um, yeah, I used to watch him play it, and then like I've always said, grew up with this with the Raimi movies. You know. Literally, that was my, I my dad played the game. I looked at it, I watched it a little bit, but when the Raimi movies came out, two thousand two, huh, fell in love with the character. You see that Spider Man right there? I mean, come on now, like literally had multiple Spider Man toys, T shirts, games, stuffed animals, like anything. Like loved the Spider Man, bro. Loved Spider Man costume, all that. Loved Spider Man. By far my my favorite superhero, bro. Just just love Spider Man, bro. Uh, favorite version of Spider Man. I love them all. I love all the versions of Spider Man. But if I had to pick, I'd just say Toby, of course. And that's the that was near and dear to my heart. That's where I grew up with Toby McGuire Spider Man. But I love Andrew Garfield. I know people don't like the amazing Spider Man like that. Love Andrew Garfield's. Love Tom Holland, of course. Can't wait for the new movie to come out this year. I can't wait to go see that, bro. Um, yeah, his you know his powers are. Uh, oh, I, I don't think I even said. Oh, my fault. I didn't even say when he first appeared. He first appeared in an amazing, amazing fantasy number number fifteen in August, in August of nineteen sixty two. Um, his powers are uh, super strength. He has super strength, but he's not like Superman, Hulk level. But he, you know, he, if, if you throw a card at him, he can he can more than lift it. I, I'm, I would at least say he he could hold. He could like pick up some in the tons. I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, he has that. I mean, you know, he's a good. Hand to hand fighter, uh, I mean Spider Man. Come on, he's a good hand to hand fighter. He uh, he shoots his webs and stuff. Just amazing character. Love, love all these characters. Love his superhero so much. Um, shoot, if I could make, if I could have made a top one hundred, maybe I could. Um, if I could make a top one hundred, I would have done it, bro. I just love superheroes, bro. Love. Them. I should do like a, my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters or something, or my favorite ranking the Z fighters, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, just let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Uh, appreciate the people who, you know, who rock with the channel because not a lot of do. Um, yeah, we make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, comment your your top ten superheroes who you guys like, don't like. I know you're probably not gonna agree with my list, but you know it's my opinion. You know, and yeah.